Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today we're learning how to convert customary units of capacity. Before we get started, it would be helpful if you had a pencil, some scratch paper, an eraser, and a partner to help you talk out the problems. Don't forget, you can always pause the video and go back to parts of the video that you want to review. So let's get started. I've been trying really hard to make sure that I drink enough water each day. I know the recommended amount of water to drink daily is 8 cups of water. How many ounces will I have to drink? Well, in order to figure this out, we're going to have to convert units of capacity, which is our objective today. Today, we're learning how to convert or change customary units of capacity. Go ahead and write down your level of understanding before we get started. 4, 3, 2, or 1. As a review, we've been converting units for a few lessons now. We've already converted the customary system of units of length. We used this chart here to help us, and we looked at inches, feet, yards, and miles. We also looked at the customary system for units of weight as well, for pounds, ounces, and tons. We followed these steps when we were finding, um, figuring out how to convert length and weight. We decided if we were converting from smaller into larger, and we divided. If we were converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiplied. And then we used our charts to help us solve. Today is similar, but we're going to be looking at capacity. Capacity is the measure of how much a container can hold. Just like length and weight, the smaller the unit you measure that you use to measure capacity, the more precise the measurement. So one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. One pint is equal to two cups, which is equal to 16 fl fluid ounces. One quart is equal to two pints, which is equal to 32 fluid ounces, and one gallon is equal to four quarts, which is equal to 128 fluid ounces. Here's a visual to represent what each of these measurements look like. It's important to remember that a fluid ounce is different from the ounce used to measure weight. Our success criteria for today is as follows. We can multiply whole numbers, we can divide whole numbers, and we can determine the equivalence between customary measurements, and we can also convert customary units of length and weight. These, will, these skills will be helpful during today's lesson when we're converting customary units of capacity. So here's our first example. Sasha wants to drink nine cups of water each day. How many fluid ounces of water is nine cups? Well, if I look at my chart at the bottom for my customary units of capacity, I can see that one cup equals eight fluid ounces. So I would multiply nine cups times eight ounces so I could determine the number of ounces. My answer is 72 ounces or 72 fluid ounces. So for today, we're gonna to write down our units of capacity. We're gonna decide if we're going from smaller to larger and larger to smaller. Our chart will be really helpful for us today as we look at solving and converting capacity. Here's one more example before we get started in trying on our own. How many quarts can be made from seven pints? Since two pints equals one quart, we're going to divide seven by two. The remainder one means there's one pint left over. The fraction of a quart is one half. So seven pints is equal to three quarts and one pint, or three and a half or 3.5 quarts. Since seven, since two can go into seven three times, two times three is six, it gives us one left over. And we can use the one as our numerator and the two as our denominator, which gives us that fraction of one half. All right, let's try some together. If you wanna pause and try on your own, you can, or you can go along with me. So we wanna convert three cups into fluid ounces. Well, I know one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces based on my chart below. So I can multiply three times eight, and I have 24 fluid ounces. Let's try this one. If you want to pause and try it and then see if you got it right, you can do that, or you can work with me. Four quarts is equal to how many cups? Well, I'm going to multiply four times two to get eight pints. First, the reason I did that is because I used my chart at the bottom there. I know that in four quarts, I have, in one quart, I have two pints. So that lets me know how many I'll have in four quarts. Then I can multiply eight times two, which will give me 16 cups. The reason I multiplied eight times two is because in one pint, there are two cups. And I know that I have eight pints I'm working with. So I'm multiplying that by two cups, which will give me 16 cups. 
by this one. 18 pints. How many quarts in that? Well, if I look down at my chart, I know that in one quart I have two pints. So if I divide 18 by 2, it'll tell me the number of quarts, which is 9. What was our learning objective today? Today we learned how to convert customary units of capacity. What's your level of understanding now at the end of the lesson? Go ahead and write that down and see if you've changed. Let's try this one before we close the lesson. Zach had one quart of milk. He used one pint to make pancakes and one cup to make scrambled eggs. How many cups of milk were left? Well, I know that one quart equals four cups. So he had one quart of milk, which means four cups of milk. If he used one pint, which is two cups, to make pancakes, and one cup for eggs, then he used a total of three cups, leaving one cup left. Let's do one more question. Whoever needs to use the most precise measurement when measuring orange juice to add to a mix, which unit of measurement should he use? Well, remember, just like length and weight, it's important to use the smallest unit to be the most precise. So that would be fluid ounces. Thank you so much for listening and following along. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more direct instruction lessons. Thank you so much.